Hi, this is Elizabeth with Southern Embellishment. Hope your day is going absolutely wonderful. Hope you are creating something beautiful and having fun. And I'm going to show you a little journal today. This is made from an upcycled box, probably quinoa. We love quinoa. And um, so it's just perfect size. I said, you know you're addicted to scrapbooking when you go to the store and you purchase groceries according to the box and what it looks like. Whether you like the food in it or not, the box is great for scrapbooking. So you're like, okay, I gotta have that. We're gonna eat it regardless. Just kidding. But anyway, I think this is quinoa. Kinda kidding, I've actually done that before. But this is a digital download and I so apologize. I cannot, um, and I'm away from home right now, so I'm on a, on a, a trip at an event and um, I can't look it up, but it's a digital download. I absolutely love it. And um, it's just vintage looking. And I love birds. I love roses. I just, I love all of it. So I covered it with that. I did the, um, I've, I've told this on other videos too. Um, I did the simple seam binding. It's got three signatures to where you don't really sew the signatures in. You, you, you use like embroidery thread or something like that. Well, what I usually do is either use seam binding or in this case I use lace. And I actually, um, and, and I hate to keep repeating myself, but for those of you that maybe don't get to see all the videos, I sew the signatures with the pamphlet stitch by themselves. I sew the signatures. Then I take um, the signature after I have sewn it. I take it and... Um, it so you can't get into it. Just kidding. Give me just a second. I'm going to talk about this in a minute too because I kind of like this idea. I hadn't seen it before and I liked it. I take, and uh, in this case I use lace, and I take the red uh, score tape and the double-sided score tape, and I tape it into the middle of the signature, which covers up the stitching. stitching. I bring it around, and I run the score tape you know, up to about right there and down to there and put the lace on there. This is two pieces of lace and then, uh, which I got from the lace place, great, great place to get your lace. You need to, we need to link that below for you. You need to visit that website. They have lace and appliques, great prices. So please go to laceplace.com. You owe it to yourself to check it out. Um, but anyway, so I score tape the lace up there. This is this is actually uh, what size this brown is, and I actually did two. So since it's one sided, I did two, so it would look better. But um, then I just bring all that together, tie it in a bow. Then I use another piece of lace, bring it, wrap it around the inside of the bow, and I put this little charm. Uh, I don't want the light to glare on it, but can you see the little bird there? I hope, uh, which I thought went great with the the cover and hung that little charm on there. And um, so I did the cream and the brown lace. So that's how I put my signatures in uh, a lot of my books. I love doing it that way. It's, it's, it's quicker, it's more simple. Therefore you get, get it made, you know, get more made and I like that. I did Mod Podge this cover. Uh, a lot of my covers I don't. Uh, I like the look of the, the, I don't know, I like the look without the Mod Podge better, I, for lack of a better way of putting it. But I did Mod Podge this, and it gave it some strength. And um, so here's the other, uh, another digital, and that's the front, and that's the back with the little bird cage there. I like that. So here is the signatures. Now what I did, I, on the signatures is, I wrapped the lace, and this is, as you can see, this is the size of the lace. And so I put two, like, I wrapped one completely with long enough to make a bow. And uh, then I wrapped the other to just make it double-sided. And then you just tie the signatures together. Rather than tying the whole book together, you just tie the signatures together. And it kind of keeps it to where it's not, you know, super, super sticking up and super fat. But as it gets, as you fill it up or it gets fatter, you know, you still have a lot of lace that, you can still tie and, and have room to add things to. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then it also looks good with the little bows. I think it looks good with the little lace sticking out in the little bows. So I like that idea. 
Uh, very simple, just just an idea I come up with as I was doing it. And I said, oh, okay, that's different. I like it. So here is, this is a Marion Smith download. Um, I've had for a long time. One of, I think it was the first one I ever bought of download, and, and I, love, I love it. It's full of coffee tea dyed papers. Again, not a lot of embellishments. Um, here's flip out scraps from uh, a paper line I've been using and trying to use up my scraps. And here is um, some of the bright pink paper dyed with Kool-Aid that my grandson did for me. And here is my music sheets, coffee dyed. It has a lot of great texture and um, pattern in there. That's the center of it. And then these are just real simple, a lot of place to put photos and, and journaling. That's the other side of the flip out. And then the other side of the signature. And then you just tie it back in the bow. I just thought that was kind of neat. It was different. I liked it. Um, give you another little idea, maybe, if you like it. And um, here's the other one. I love I love this kit by Marion Smith. I'm sorry. I think it's that Cottage Chic or something like that. Uh, but I know it was one of the first ones I purchased, and it was just, I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. And um, this lace would work if your fingers work. Okay. And again, just the signatures, they're not embellished. They're not over-embellished or anything. They're, it just leaves you a lot of room for journaling and photos and things like that. So they're all pretty much the same. I put the brown, the brown lace in the middle so it would look good out here too. Uh, the music sheet, I love how dark that got. It feels uh, almost like parchment. It's just got a really nice feel to it. And the other pink. The other side of the flip out. There's that. And then uh, the other side. I love these little roses. Anything roses, you've got me. I love it. Here's the third signature. Now, as you've probably heard, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk about my mistakes. And I just realized where I made a mistake in this book. I have to have a mistake in every book or it's not made by me. So, my mistake is that is on top. This is on the bottom, and that one's on top. Okay, at least this one's in the middle. Okay, so we could say, I meant to do it. How about that? But I have to make a mistake in every book. Perfect imperfections. That is my saying. I heard Barb say it before. Uh, I've heard Tim Holt say it before. And so I love it. I'm glad they said it, because now I can use that as my excuse. Okay, here is the third and last signature. And same layout. Um, a little card in there, the music with the lace in the middle, and the other side of the card, and the coffee, and then there's the back with the roses, and the little lace for your bow. And I just thought it was just something, it was quick, it was easy, it was uh, upcycled and fast, but I did like the little... Uh, lace with the bows on each signature. I thought that was a different and cute idea. So maybe it's, you know, maybe you'll like it. Maybe it's like, oh yeah, I got another idea. I get a lot of ideas from you great people out there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for sharing your talent. Uh, I love watching your YouTube uh, videos and get a lot of ideas. So maybe I was able to contribute my little part. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for visiting today. And go have fun and do something great and nice for somebody and for your family especially. And hope you will visit us at southernembellishment.com. Leave your comments below. Good, bad, or indifferent, whatever. We'd love to hear from you. And also feel free to subscribe. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.